Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share information with you regarding how to reduce your electrical exposure to radiation, to reduce your radiation exposure. Now, we live in a world where there's signals, radio frequencies, electromagnetic frequencies, all of these frequencies around us, some of them biologic biologically friendly, some of them not. Most of them not biologically friendly. And what that means is, for example, uh, a radio, a cell phone, a microwave, a smart meter, a Wi-Fi router, whatever it may be, these emit EMFs, also known as electromagnetic fre uh, magnetic frequencies, and RFs, radio frequencies, and other types of frequencies. There's a, wa a broad spectrum here. And what they do is they affect our biological health and biological function because our body has its own built-in frequencies, its own built-in uh, system for operating. And these frequencies that are dependent on electric electricity and all these types of things, um, they affect our health negatively. There's also something called dirty electricity, which I've talked about before and recommended the Stetzer filters for. Uh, but today I want to talk about what's known as a Faraday cage. Now there was an inventor in 1836 by the name of Michael Faraday who invented, you guessed it, the Faraday cage. And what these cages are, they are simply cages that surround or encompass uh, the device in your home or in your environment that emits that RF, that emits that radio frequency. And what these cages do, they're made of a, of a metal and a sort of a grid that's crossed at little squares and it completely surrounds the device emitting this radio frequency and what it does is reduces and will actually completely eliminates the, uh, the radio frequency signal. Um, so the device, sometimes like for example when I put one of these Faraday cages on my uh, Wi-Fi router, it did affect performance slightly, uh, so I had to move the Wi-Fi router up a little bit higher so that it worked better in the back corner of the home that I now live in, I recently moved. Uh, so uh, it does, it can affect performance, but the health benefits are definitely worth it and you can still get your Wi-Fi service, you can still, for example, uh, have electricity, you can still have all this kind of stuff, but reduce your electrical load, uh, which is great for your energy, it's great for your sleep. Uh, I've, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but you, I highly recommend turning off your Wi-Fi router when you're sleeping. I've noticed firsthand I sleep better when the Wi-Fi router is off. And since I've gotten this Faraday cage, I have the Faraday cage uh, on the Wi-Fi router and that reduces that electrical load, uh, that load of EMFs and radio frequencies that are emitted throughout the day. Uh, what's also great about Faraday cages is that because it's a metal uh, contained box, what it does is trap positive ions. So right now, being outside, being in nature, uh, being connected to the earth, uh, you know, being in nature, you're actually benefiting from the negative ions in nature. Um, and it's not as much in the city, but if you're, in, if you're you know, near a waterfall, the negative ions are higher near a, a volcano, negative ion, uh, ions are higher there as well. Uh, but in, you know, ho at home, we're emitted, there's all these positive ions that are emitted. Now positive ions cause inflammation, tension, soreness, uh, headaches, uh, all types of issues. So to reduce that uh, RF, radio frequency load on the body, those uh, unfriendly, harmful, uh, frequencies that affect biological function and to reduce those positive ions, a Faraday cage is the solution for that. So I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to show you both outside the Faraday cage I have on the smart meter here because smart meters emit a radio frequency constantly uh, because now instead of having meter readers, which I used to be a meter reader oddly enough for DTE energy, uh, they have these uh, smart meters, quote unquote smart meters, that emit a signal and send that back to the energy company so that people don't need to read meters. So it's a way to automate you know, that process to cut jobs and to have technology replace them at a cheaper cost, which makes sense financially for the company, but it is harmful for our health and well-being. So uh, I have a Faraday cage on the smart meter here at the house, as well as a Faraday cage on the Wi-Fi router. I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now and then rejoin you at the end of the video. So here is the smart meter on the outside of the house. As you can see, uh, this device around it is not actually uh, what the energy company came and sold with. So this device, I'm not gonna actually touch it because it actually has positive ions contained in the metal and I'd be giving my body a negative load of energy if I touch it, but this uh, device, all you do is connect it here. I accidentally touched it, I'm gonna die now, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> this device here, 
all you do is encompass the energy meter as you can see you know it's in there and it completely surrounds it with the Faraday cage and you just simply tighten the screw and all of those radio frequencies uh, and positive ions get stopped right here so it concentrates them right here and you don't want to touch the metal because this is conductive metal but at least what it's doing is reducing the electrical load on my biology and my health and now I'm going to take you inside and show you the Wi-Fi router as well okay as you can see here this Wi-Fi router is enclosed in a Faraday cage and there's a little hole on the end so your Wi-Fi cords can come out your power cord and uh, Ethernet cable and it simply encloses the entire Wi-Fi router in the um, Faraday cage box. So once again, this is a conductive metal, and it's specifically designed by Michael Faraday, the inventor, and it's reducing that radio frequency load, and it's reducing um, the positive ions that get into your environment. And it's very simple to install. All you do is put your Wi-Fi router on the box and run the cords through. It's really that simple. So as you can see, it's very simple. All you have to do is simply get a Faraday cage, install it on your smart meter, surround your Wi-Fi router with it, and that reduces the uh, RF radio frequency load, uh, which is affecting your biological health in a negative way. So just to describe uh, radio frequencies a bit further, radio frequencies generate heat. So if you've ever been holding onto your cell phone, it's a perfect example and you feel it start to get hot, start to get warm, that's radio frequencies. And radio frequencies, if exposed in high amounts of radio frequencies over time, what they do is they weaken the cells in the body. And it does that by constricting um, the flow of things. So positive ions, especially paired with radio frequencies, uh, create clumps and they sort of congest blood flow, circulation, lymphatic movement, um, hinder the nervous system, it affects all parts of the body and radio frequencies are also linked to cancer. So you want to reduce your load and exposure to radio frequencies coming from your cell phone, that means just getting off your cell phone more often or using some sort of protection which I've talked about here on the channel also uh, and utilizing technology that keeps these things concentrated and Faraday cages are great for that. So I got these Faraday cages from a company called Smart Meter Guard and I will link up that information below. I also linked a video, it's only like a minute and 30, 40 seconds. Uh, the creator of Smart Meter Guard, his name's Carl, and he describes and shows a test with reading radio frequencies, uh, the before and after of radio frequencies using this Faraday cage from their company with and without. So you can see the actual tangible results from that first hand. Um, so I highly recommend checking out, I'm gonna link up that video and the information on Faraday cages below so you can get one for yourself, whether you have a smart meter. If you don't have a smart meter, you don't need one. A smart meter is simply a meter that has the digital dial on it. Uh, that would be a smart meter. Um, if it's analog, meaning if it has the little dials and the little, little uh, like an old clock, uh, that's not a smart meter, so you don't need it for that. But the digital ones, those are emitting a radio frequency signal, uh, and Wi-Fi is constantly emitting Wi-Fi and radio frequency signals, EMFs, uh, and positive ions. So, uh, to reduce that load in your home, I highly recommend checking these out. I'll link those up again, once again, uh, below. Thank you so much for your time. Please like, favorite, comment, and share this video if you learned something. And if you haven't gotten your free report yet, I wrote a report called Your Supplements Suck. It's a free report, a uh, 33-page report, that shares my experience of working uh, behind the scenes with supplement and superfood companies and what you want to avoid in your purchasing uh, so that you aren't wasting your money. And I also have a discount code uh, when you download that from this company here, Omika Organics. It's one of my favorite supplement companies. They're absolutely incredible. And uh, if you join uh, that membership, which is free, by the way, uh, you will get a discount code to this company and their products. So check that out below also. Uh, I'm settled in, I'm moved in here in a new home, a new living situation, so I will be creating content more consistently. Looking forward to uh, sharing more information with you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.